Hi you guys, Gamekeeper John here today. We've got a great little informative video for you today and that is slingshot shooting techniques, tips and styles. There are so many out there so we're going to run through some of the basics now. To start off there are two main styles of shooters. There's an over the top one where the bands pull over the top of the forks when shooting and there's a TTF one where the bands pull through the forks when shooting. There are also two main ways to hold your frame. Upright in the upright position, like so, with the forks upright. And the other one is called Gangster, which is side shooting like that. And it's called Gangster because back in the day, that's how gangsters used to shoot the guns, and it's just been the phrase in slingshots all the time. So you got upright and Gangster. Neither style is more accurate than the other. It is all down to self-preference. There are also three main grips to a slingshot frame. Thumb and brace, where you brace the forks with your thumb and forefinger and shoot like that. There is also a pinch grip, where you grip the frame and pinch it, like so. And there is also a hammer grip, where you grip it just like you'd bang a hammer in. Again, neither is more accurate than the other, but that is predominantly the three main grips used in slingshot shooting. There are three main shooting styles. One, fixed anchor point, where you anchor to a point on your face. Semi butterfly, where you draw back and have your arm like that and you have a floating anchor point. And there is also full butterfly, where both arms are out straight. The full butterfly setup is without doubt the most powerfulest, but is also the hardest to master. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners, unless you start shooting light bands and work your way up to it. But in theory, the longer the draw length, the faster the shot, as there is more elastic used, and there is more runaway in effect to project the ammunition on its way to whatever quarry or target you decide to shoot at. There are also a couple of ways to hold the ball in the pouch. You put your ball in the pouch, always make sure that your ammo is centre in the pouch, that is essential. Some people, when shooting, prefer to pinch just the ball like that. Me, however, I like to hold the pouch in front of the ball like that. Now, there is an argument to which one is the most accurate. You'll go on and on for ages. There is no right or wrong answer. It's what suits you. Centering the ammo in the middle of the pouch is essential. And also making sure that you release the pouch exactly the same is essential to get consistent accuracy. There are also a few styles in how you can hold the pouch itself. Some people have the thumbnail down, like so. Some people have the thumbnail up, like so. Again, there is no right or wrong. You see where I'm going with everything I'm going through now. Everybody is different. Some people have the thumbnail just facing the self at an angle like that. You need to work out which one works best for you. Me, personally, when I'm shooting, I have my thumbnail up and tuck it into the corner of my mouth. And that works perfect for me. And while we're talking about thumbs up, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps with the way it circulates around YouTube. Now you've got everything how you want it and you're shooting, you're gonna to need to aim it. Now we're gonna cover this very briefly in this video, but if you wanna go onto our channel, look at our how to aim slingshot video, it's over 40 minutes long, covers everything. It's had over half a million views and you can read the comments for yourself. It's got hundreds, if not thousands of comments. It's helped so many people read the comments. Don't take my word for it. It's improved everybody's accuracy. But now we're gonna cover the basic fundamentals of how to aim. Reference point, something on your fork tip, like a sight, a mark, an anchor point, is where you draw to and the basic simpleness of it if you get your reference point and your anchor point in the same place every time the ball will travel the same you imagine an air rifle you got your little point on the front and your two little crosses on the back if they're lined up bang on every time like that the bullet or the pellet is going to go in exactly the same place slingshots are no different you got to get your reference point and your anchor point the same every time and providing you release the shot the same every time, the ball will travel the same. It's, it's common sense. Now, while we're on anchor points, an anchor point is where you draw back to with the hand that holds the ammunition and the pouch. My anchor point is to the core of my mouth every time. There's no right or wrong where to have your anchor point. Some people draw to their eye line, some people the cheek. I even know some people who draw back to the nose. Um, Juan, one of the top Spanish shooters who placed second or third in the Slingshot World Cup over in China, he sticks a little bit of, I think it's paper or foam to his nose. When he draws back, he pulls it back to the same little 
anchor point every single time on his nose. So there's no right or wrong, it's what suits you. Now reference points, there are many reference points. Some people pull back and they use the corner of the fork tip. Some people shoot over the top and as their reference point, they use the inside of the fork tip. All my TTF catapults which shoot through the fork come with aiming dimps. It's a little dimp in the middle of the band. So when you draw back, right in the middle of the band, right there, you have a little dimple. And that's what we use as our reference points on all our TTF catapults. So all you need to do is get that on the target and then find your anchor point. Once they're running smooth, Bob's your uncle, you've got it. And that is basically the basics of slingshot shooting. You follow those simple steps and you will be shooting like a pro in no time. Don't forget, always wear eye protection when shooting, it is essential. There are a huge variety of slingshots and elastics and different styles, techniques, pouches, ammunition, all over the internet. What works for one person might not necessarily be best for the other. So all as I could say would be experiment with them all, find out what your niche is, because it's no good looking at somebody shooting on YouTube like myself and thinking, ah, oh, that gamekeeper John can hit everything with that, he's killing everything, I'm going to use that setup, because it might not work for you. I'd love to be here now saying, everybody, go and buy my catapult, go and buy my elastics, go and buy off me, nobody else. That's not how it works. You know, I'm, I've always been honest on my YouTube. If I outdo myself on sales, it don't bother me. I want to get everybody set up right. I always recommend at first as well, people trying everything and do it cheap at first. Always look for a cheap option. Don't go straight in and spend hundred pound on a custom catapult because it might be a load of crap for you. It might be a work of art and to, the, to somebody else could be the best thing on the planet, but it might not suit you in person. So start cheap, build a natural a catapult or even try some of my DIY kits they're like £11 delivered with a band set and get the fun of making then as well and I always say at first start off with lighter elastic um, if you have any accidents at your fork or at your finger it's nice to start with a nice light elastic my saying is always what you're going to get for your first car you're going to go out and buy a 300 mile an hour sports car or you're going to get a little slow one to get you started when you pass your test it's the same with catapults don't go straight in for the fastest most powerfulest most expensive catapult on the market because the chances are it won't suit you start slowly like everything else work your way up find what you want and do it that way uh, i hope that helps like i say we've got far more detailed videos on aiming we've got a full aiming video which has over half a million views with thousands of comments from people who it's improved we have an accuracy series which covers all different things separately so go back on our channel and check but this was aimed at the newbies or the beginners and it does basically cover everything but very briefly but follow the steps in this video and um, I have no doubt it will improve your shooting don't forget to like thumbs up comment subscribe and all that and now it's time for the giveaway for the Bloodstopper. And we're going to do another giveaway. Are you ready? So it's time for the giveaway and who can win the Gamekeeper Bloodstopper. I've opened all your comments. So I'm going to up and up and up and down. We'll say six, three, two, down, down, up, up, up. Not looking at bang. The winner is Paddy McCarthy. Subscribe. Great shooting as always. Best of luck from Ireland. Paddy McCarthy, you are the winner of the Bloodstopper. Either get in touch with me on my Facebook page or just drop, uh, just or get in touch via email or get in touch any way you want or even comment on here and I'll get in touch with you. You are the winner of the Gamekeeper Bloodstopper fitted with GZK bands. Congratulations. But we're not done there. We're going to give another away. Right, what words should we have to comment the giveaway on this one? Um, what should we do? Would uh, I'm stuck, I'll tell you what. There's a mole hill on the floor here. Comment the word mole to enter this giveaway. M-O-L-E. How about that? We'll have a laugh. Got a catch and cook video dropping next week. It's going to take a bit of editing. Um, but we'll announce the giveaway the Bloodstopper in that one. So comment the word mole. Strictly only one comment each. If you comment any more, you'll have your entries removed. It's one comment per person. So comment the word mole and being with a chance to win a Gamekeeper Bloodstopper in the next video fitted with iPower GZK hunting bands. Thank you all, hope you all have a good day, I'll see you all in the next show.